I am Buddha. Hello, Buddha. Welcome. I have come here for a very short visit because I wanted to explain something about the chakras before I go any farther in my teachings of them. We have already talked about the root chakra and the sacral, as you call it. And I wanted to let you know something general about the chakras. The chakras are many layered. Are you understanding that this is true? There is not just one chakra layer of each color, shall we say. There is multiple layers, and I'll tell you why. You bring with you into this life shadows of your former chakras. Does this make sense to yes, you? Yes, yes, shadows. Shadows of your former chakras, and when you lighten each chakra, you lighten that pathway to regress into that chakra and into that lifetime where you and what you felt and when people do certain codes and things on your body it pulls out things from your past lives from your chakras do you understand this because it is important for me to teach this now so that you can understand that when you are meditating you may go deeper into yourself than just one human chakra. You have many shadows behind this one that light up and can give you information and guidance as well whenever you bring these into proper attunement, when you bring these into proper energy form. Does this make sense to you? I hope it does. Yes. And I just wanted you to know, these past shadows hold secrets to the future because they're not in any awkward sequence. They're in a perfect pattern to bring you forward, especially those of you with in, that have enlightenment or are seeking enlightenment. These will pull you forward. forward. They are like a path to the future. Do you understand? Yes. So when you go back and travel the chakras and you get to the one that is here, then you are able to understand how to move to the next life and the next chakra. But it can happen now as well because your awareness of the past brings things into fullness within you so that you may open up things that you are not aware of. And this is a secret to your third eye, your understanding of who you are and what you shall be in this life and where to move in your next. Now, you would think that your chakras came to you at random, but this is not so. There is a pattern, there is a guidance from the spirits in all that you do, in all that you feel within you. So, I remember that you were just speaking about some of your random lessons. Yes, there are random lessons, but you know, those random lessons are part of your world, and you must learn about your world and how it operates, and the, the troubles that are there. But then there are the profound lessons. Yes. These are all part of your chakral system as well. Mm -hmm. When you relate to, when you learn something in this lifetime that is of value, it definitely becomes part of your chakral system. Whatever chakra it affects, and it could be more than one, will be encoded in there for your next life. So that you will know if you did not pass that particular test, you will have an idea of how to be more successful in the next. I will leave you now because that is enough information for you to think about at the moment. 
Thank you very much. Much appreciation. All that was lovely. Thank you very much. You see. Happy.